like, I mean, he kind of looked like he got a wooden leg and stuff. Hey, G. Hey, right, hey girl. girl. They, I, I ain't, girl, I ain't calling him no more. His breast stink. Mm -mm. What time did you leave last night? Nine, maybe ten. And you've been working here how long? I don't know, ten months now. All right, so you've been doing all that, what, ten months, and you don't even like this job? Okay, Gina, I'm hoping you consider us friends, because I'm just going to be direct. I don't know what you're running from, what you're trying to forget, but if you don't resolve the issues that you have, you're going to run into a brick wall. I don't have any issues. Oh, yeah, right. I mean, every woman your age would love to just work 16 hours a day, not hang out with her friends and go to parties or be with a boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend either. Then maybe you should get one. That's offensive. Then call the labor board. Two weeks off, mandatory vacation. You can't make me take a vacation. You know, this is something you probably don't know about me, but back in the day when I was a DJ, I used to say, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up on out of here. <laughs> I'm serious. Take the time off. Just find some peace. See you in two weeks. Take the GPS is off of these two when we're done. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Look, I know things got hectic out there, but you stood tall. I appreciate that. I just ain't never seen nobody get shot before, let alone die. Welcome to the big league, baby girl. What are we about to do with all these drugs? We are gonna break them down, and we're gonna hit these streets. For real? For real. It's about to be an early Christmas in the hood, baby girl. Well, let's do it then. I made the bitch disappear like Houdini. She ride on me just like a new Lamborghini. Took a few links out the Rolex, I feel like a car. Everywhere I go, bitches call me a king. Count so much money, got a brand new machine. Sticks like a bot, the one with the bean. If in the night, like an agency. Sleeping on me, crank the car with no key. Usually in one of his oddities. Drinking on all with a bad or free. Trapping and dig out in white and green. Coast to coast, we've been invited team. I hit the hoe in the truck with the lean. Have a hell of a time whenever we lean. Rolling our way to the Philippines. Purchase ammo for my guillotine. Do what I did and I got me some things I ain't never seen. Yeah, yeah. Philly's finest is definitely in the building. And then there's this nigga. Good news is I heard you had insurance. You, you okay? Appreciate your concern. I don't give a fuck about you. You know what didn't have insurance? My shipment you was transporting. Celine. How much was that shit worth? It's a meal ticket. A fucking meal ticket. Nigga, that's one million dollars of my money. I got you. How the fuck you got me? Huh? The fuck does that mean? On the rail that came out of nowhere. It's like they knew what we had and where we was going. She said it was for Kawhi did. The fuck you just say to me? She said this for the boy Kawhi did. That's impossible. Kawhi did Richards is dead. And I know this because I killed him. So you know what? Titus. We gonna just chalk this whole thing up as a, a bad first date. 
Tracy. What's up? Can you give me the room, please? All right, I'll be in the court. I saw one of them. Well, speak up. I saw one of their faces, and I recognized the bitch, too. Why the fuck didn't you just say that? Come on, Titus, you gotta be smarter than that, man. You almost got yourself fucked up for no reason. Find out who the fuck he saw. Get back to me ASAP. All right, I got you. Keep talking. Girl, you are gonna live forever. I was just thinking about you. Oh my God, I literally was just telling my homegirl on the other line, how you doing? Big things up in New York at that fashion magazine. Yeah, I'm living my best life. So what they got you working on now? Um, I'm on vacation. Vacation? Must be nice. So, are you gonna come home for Quarters Memorial? How do you know about Quarters Memorial? Shook told me. Shook? What you doing talking to Suge? She calls and checks on me from time to time. What's wrong with talking to Suge? It ain't nothing wrong with talking to Suge, but you ain't got nobody your own age you can talk to? Yeah, but they don't know nothing. Suge be putting me up on game. Where's Guy get? She's on the phone talking to your daddy. Oh, wait, hold up. She's hanging up now. Oh, my goodness. What's that, Gina? I tell her I want to talk to her. <laughs> now you know she don't talk on cell phones, though. Yeah, because it caused cancer. God, do you hear her? Yeah, I heard her. Just tell her I'm gonna call her on the landline. All right. Ah, oh, how you doing, baby? I'm good. Well, I was just talking to your daddy, and he told me to tell you hello, and uh, he's getting out on parole. Good for him. Oh, baby, now don't talk like that. God don't like ugly. How old am I supposed to be? Baby, listen. Matthews 1821. Lord, how many times am I supposed to forgive my brother who sinned against me? Seven times. And you know what Jesus said? He answered, no, not seven times. Seventy seven times seven. That's why you need to go see your daddy so you can have closure. I'm good. You can handle that. Oh, Lord Jesus. Baby, listen. I hope you're gonna come on home for Quidditch Memorial. You come on home to your Gaggett. I don't, I don't know, Gaggett. It's just, you know, the memories. Sahara, Lita, my mom, Quadir. I feel like I just wanna go somewhere I can disappear. Baby, trust me. I understand. But Sugar, I want you to understand something too. Quadir is in your heart and in your soul. So wherever you go and no matter what you do, he's going to always be with you, baby. All right, I'll talk to you later, Gaget. I love you. I love you too, precious. Writing opportunity? Hmm. Bitch, I do rich shit, huh? My money thick, ay, ay. Walk with a limp, limp, huh? I'm on some pimp shit, ay. He say you all about money. Hey, girl. Yo, I can't believe they really killed Moot and Tosh. I saw the news. I can't believe you was with them. What's this? You know, I saw an opportunity with sugar and I took it. Oh, so you hustling now? <laughs> yeah, you know, I was born with a little hustle in my heart. Lost me too, obviously. But this ain't you. 
What you gonna do with it? I was thinking you could help me move it. I mean, you got all them tricks and stuff that be coming in. Clients. I'm a massage therapist. Thank you very much. All right, and I'm a damn astronaut. Now, but for real, I'm gonna kick you 10% of whatever you sell. 30%. 20. 25. Deal. Welcome to the space program, bitch. He say you all about money. Yeah, I'm on that cash shit. Time no see. What the fuck, man? I'm out the gate. Shh, shh, shh. It's like a boa constrictor. The more you struggle, the tighter that shit gets. Now tell me who the fuck took my shit. Tell me what the fuck I need to know. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, man. You killed Quadier, man. You won, and I'm out the gate. I'll let you live. And you can keep living if you tell me who the fuck hijacked my shit, man. Four women. Who were they? Fuck, man, you think that's my bitch? Cause they say Aquarius rich and set them. <coughs> and you the last nigga living in Aquarius crew. So who the fuck was it? I'm telling you, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <clears throat> I don't think you understand the magnitude of this situation. I got people to answer to. And if I don't get my shipment back, somebody gotta pay for it. So give me some names. Who the fuck was it? I'm telling you, I don't fucking know. You got one more chance, nigga. I don't know shit. Well, congratulations. You about to be famous. Time's up. What up, T? You ain't out here trying to be a college nigga and shit still, is you? <laughs> shit. Better than these streets, I can tell you that much. What's good? Be real with me, bro, because I'm hearing shit. What's up with this nigga, Celine? He really fucking y'all up right now. He got your whole operation hot as fuck. I'm not trying to come home to no crazy shit. It ain't got shit to do with Celine. Salim earned his position while you were away. So I need you to let that shit go. I feel you in when you get out. Yeah, well, it might be sooner than you think, bro. I just talked to the appeal board and shit, I might be up out of here less than a week. Nigga, you lying. <laughs> Fuck, man, that's, that's the best news I done heard all week. <laughs> yeah, me too, nigga. Best news I heard too. Just let me know when you need me to scoop you up. Nah, for real, I'ma need you. Hell yeah, how the fuck else I'ma get from up here? And I'm hungry as hell too. First stop, Tootsie's. And a water ice. I love you, boy. Love you, too. Yeah. Stay up. thirsty. Everyone's trying to re-up. So what you tell them? I told them I'll get back to them. You said it like that? Or you said it like, we got some shit coming down the pipeline? Or did you say it like, we ain't really got nothing for them? I just said it. Why, wow, what's up? We got about two more weeks before we run dry. Then we out of business. 
If the streets find out that we out out, the wolves gonna scoop up all our regulars. And I didn't take Aquadia and his crew to lose one inch of territory in this city. Plus, on top of that, we gotta replace that shipment. The tick is about to be doing that shit. So I really need you to think about it. Who in Quadia's crew would have the balls to hijack my shit? Rasan. Nah. Rasan's no longer with us. Everyone knows he's putting in work with the Mexicans out in Cali. Nah. The Mexicans is global. They ain't worried about us in Philly. Who owes us money? Jordan, he's a month behind. But it ain't the first. Go see him. You want me to get heavy? Or just talk? I don't give a fuck if you throw him out the window. Just get my bread. Matter of fact, go ahead and collect from anybody that owes me. No excuses. All right, I'll go see him. And call up Vaughn, too. Tell him I want to meet with him. We'll call from him in the short term till I figure out this hijacking shit. Who got Quadia's bank when I knocked him off? I don't know. His mom's and his pops got his property, though. No. They ain't even in the game. They wouldn't know where to start. You know the niggas on the streets probably kept everything they owe once you knocked them down. Yeah, I know, but... Quartier had M's. Who would he trust with that kind of cash? The real money. Gina Rollins. Quartier's ghost want to take food out of my mouth? We'll see if he returns from the grave when I do the same to her. Sí, señor. Yo lo entiendo. Claro. Yo estoy aquí disponible para ayudarlo usted en lo que usted necesite. Excuse me. Come in. Me llegó una de las muchachas que le voy a hacer la entrevista. Yo lo llamo después. Está bien. Venus Nelson, right? Yes. Please have a seat. Thank you. And thank you for coming in on such brief notice. Absolutely. Well, let's get straight to it. I have something that I think will be really good for you. What's that? So we do articles on icons and global influencers, and we're hoping that you will do a piece on millionaire entrepreneur Carlos Sanchez. He's at the forefront of branding and distribution for cannabis in California and in every yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, I know exactly who he is. OK, good. So our company has been tracking your writing for a few months now, and we would love for you to go to LA and do an interview on Carlos and a five-page article. Me? Five pages. In L.A. Yes, you ever been to the West Coast? Yes, I have. Did you like it? Like is an understatement. It's probably the best time I've ever had in my life. Okay, so good. This shouldn't be a problem. Not at all. We'll pay you the stipend of $100 per day. In Airbnb, I'll send you all the information via email. And let me know when you get there. Sounds good. Here comes the drama, them type of things that my grand where I'm from. This is where I'm from. This is where I'm from. Where I'm from. This is where I'm from. Say, boss, you know the word is on the street, they got booked for a ticket out in Philly, right? Shit happens to the best of us, bro. Stay by. What up, Vaughn? Shit, the cost of living? Didn't expect you to drive to New York yourself for this little bit of work like this, man. I was just in the city for a little business. Figured I'd pay you a visit. We good? Yeah, we good. I 
this day. It's between me and you, right? Nigga, who the fuck I'm gonna tell you? Say less. All right? I'm in. Don't call me when you count that shit. Oh, you know somebody will. Excuse me, mommy. Whatever you want. It's on me. All right, look. When you get back to the city, anybody runs dry, that shit ought to hold them over. Back to the city? You not rolling with me? Nah, I'm gonna stick around New York. See if I can find Quadir's bitch. Rumor has it, she's sitting on a pot of gold. And nigga, I need to find out because I need that money. Hold up, wasn't she there when you downed him? She never saw me. This nigga was playing Captain Saberho and pushed her to the ground before I started letting off. Get, get out! All she know, I could be having a cup of coffee with her and she'll never know that I was the nigga that killed her man. You a wild bull. I appreciate that. Real one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But check this out. All right. I need you to hit the streets. I mean, hit the motherfuckers hard. Mm -hmm. We got to find them bitches that took my shit. You feel me? Matter of fact, they're supposed to be throwing a, a, a memorial service or some shit for quiet air. I need you to pull up. See if they show up to that. Well, this nigga dead and they still celebrating him? Fuck that nigga. Still. I'm out. You don't want to ride back to the hotel? No, I'm good. It's New York City. Let me hit the ground real quick. What's up? I'm looking for Lucy. I'm Lucy. Friend of mine said you had some paperwork ready for me. Friend got a name? Black. New York Black or LA Black? Miami Black. David James. Why David? Because David slayed Goliath. All right, Miss Lucy, so I need your help with two more things. Talk to me. What you doing? You on your way? Well, there's been a slight change in plans. Wait, so you're not coming? No, I'm still coming, but I got an opportunity in LA. So I'm gonna go there first. LA? Okay, you big poppin'. Well, okay, that's cool. Well, you know, I was just coming to Philly because I had to drop something off. But it's better this way because now I can spend more time with you. Facts. Well, just call me whenever you land, all right? Okay. All right, I love you. Love you too. I can't believe you're actually going to drive to California. It's not exactly right around the corner, you know. Well, I mean, I got an opportunity, so I'm gonna hit the road. I get it, okay. Um, well, bless you. And uh, are you sure that you're not forgetting anything? Yeah, everything is mapped out in my phone, and I text you my address just in case there's an emergency. These bags I'm taking? Oh, no, it's okay. I got these. All right. I'll see you in a couple weeks. 
see you in a couple weeks. Yeah. from Winston's Flowers, and I have a delivery for Gina Rollins, but I'm a little confused about your address. Oh, wow. Look, unfortunately, she's not gonna be here for another few weeks. Oh, these will be dead by then, and they're so beautiful. Two dozen Juliet roses. Why you just wanna go to her apartment? Um, sure, what's her address? <sighs> Hold on, let me get that for you. Girl, why are you messing around in my kitchen like this? I'm sorry, I'm hungry. I was about to go get me something to eat till you gave me that 911 call to get over here. Well, I got some baked chicken on the stove and mm. some broccoli and some mashed potatoes, and it'd be ready in a few minutes. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Let me get my hot sauce. Yes. <laughs> so what's going on? Worried about Bria. Bria? What's she do? It ain't any one thing, but she got this air of disrespect. She been disrespecting you? Not per se, but Char did have to use my hands on a few weeks ago. Gag, gag. You can't be laying your hands on these kids nowadays. It ain't like when we was growing up. You go to jail. Well, <laughs> I know that, I know it. I ain't trying to go to jail, baby. Oh, and that's why I've been trying to just keep this level of restraint mm. since then. But I don't know how long I can keep this up. That's why I want you to talk to her, because you two are tight. That's true. Where's she at now? Hmm. Say she in the gym, but ain't no telling. She'll please talk to her. You know what's crazy? What? She asked me to talk to you about being overly protective. Get out. She didn't say nothing about you laying no hands on her. Hmm. She better not either, cause if she know what's good for her. Stop that. I know I ain't supposed <laughs> to be saying stuff like this. <laughs> but girl, I'm worried. Worried about her and I don't want her to go down the same path as Gina. Speaking of Gina, how's she doing? We're meaning to call her. She in California? Working. Say she don't ever want to come back to Philly because of all the bad memories. And I'm worried about her. I don't want to lose Bria like I lost Gina. Especially now that she got that new boyfriend. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to talk to Bria for you. You're going to see. Oh, thank you, girl. It's gonna mm -hmm. be all right. Need your help. <laughs> now fix me something to eat. Oh, child, thank please. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure. Well, it's I, my pleasure. I like dark meat, okay? I, I know. Babe. Remember when we first hooked up and I told you I wasn't looking for anything serious? Yeah, you said you didn't want a relationship. I'm, look, I'm still with that. But if whatever reason we wanted to modify that. Modify? Yeah, like if one of us got in our feelings and thought that maybe we should make our relationship exclusive. <laughs> look, I, I'm, I think it's worth a try. So you're saying that you're into your feelings and you want to be exclusive? <laughs> I'm telling you I'm keeping it 100 with you and let you know where I'm at everything. Hmm. 
Nice. All right. So nice that you want to be exclusive? No, nice that you're keeping it 100. <laughs> Damn. That's it? I mean, I was feeling like it was all good, but now I'm not too sure. But wait, 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 wait. what happened? Wait, what's, what's going on? Look, my grandmother is blowing up my phone. Besides, I don't have time to be complicating myself with all these extra feelings and shit. Look, Rhea, I don't know what happened, but I, I like you, all right? And I like you too. And if you want to kick it, I'm with it. But all this extra shit, I don't have time for it. I'm sorry, um, you can kick it. I'll hit you up when I want to kick it again. What's going on, man? Forgot your umbrella, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, I was coming to meet my uh, my cousin, Gina Rollins. You seen her around? Oh, no, she took off. She's driving to LA. She already went to LA? She's on her way. Oh, crap. And my cell phone is completely dead. Can you be a good friend and help me out? Um, otherwise, I'll be lost. <laughs> OK. Um, do you need to? I mean, I have her itinerary, if you. Would you? Yeah, man, you'd be lifesaver. I hate to do this to you, but I don't have my glasses. Um, yeah, that's fine. So if you can just read that off. Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, cool. 20928 Pacific Coast Highway, Malibu. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay, tell her I said hi. I will do. All right. Uh, Gina's cousin, right? Yeah. On her dad's side. What's up? Yo, I put everything in play like you said, but everyone's still on edge. It's Philly. People are born on edge. Yeah, but the police is harassing the trap houses, asking about Rasan. They just going through the motions, trying to justify their paychecks. I know, I know. But uh, I think it'll put everyone at ease if you slide through. It ain't gonna happen. I'm in LA, blending in with the Cali folks. LA? I just left you in New York. What are you doing in LA? Gina Rollins. Gina Rollins? You really don't think she got bread, do you? Well, let's see. She's been working for an online magazine for a year, but she lives on Park Avenue and drives a Range Rover. What do you think? You think she got a sponsor? Nah, she doesn't really give me that vibe. <laughs> now you got a vibe on her, huh? Nigga, I ain't out here for shits and giggles. What you working on? Shit, just tying up some loose ends with Jordan. Man, I just found out where they're doing the memorial at. I got eyes all over it. All right, well, let me know what you find. All right, Juan. Well, I'll let you. All the bedrooms have the exact same view. Mesmerizing, isn't it? It's incredible. Ah. I like it. The key, garage door opener, and my card in case of an emergency. Okay. Oh, and there's a store five minutes up the way if you need groceries. Okay. 
So what do you do for fun around here? I personally play volleyball. Volleyball? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played volleyball since I was in high school. Really? Well, if you haven't played volleyball in a bikini on the beach next to the Pacific Ocean, you really haven't played the way it's meant to be played now, have you? Is that right? Yeah. If you're interested, let me know. I stay just up the road. Okay. Uh, want help with your bags? Oh, no, it's fine. Okay. Well, call me if you need anything. Will do. Thanks, Mark. Looking back to see how far I've come. I fight to overcome the struggles of my past. Every reflection is a lesson you seek. It's the whispers that the universe will speak. So rise to you, rise to your truth, rise and be true. Mm. That felt good? Yeah, it feels good as fuck. You got a lot of tension in your neck. You want me to relieve that for you? Turn around. So, what's all this stress about? Can't be that bad. I mean, my man's got hit for every bit of coke we had. Is that bad enough? Well, maybe I was wrong. Y'all know who did it? No, nah, all we know is that it's just a bunch of bitches. Bitches? <laughs> like girls? I mean, is there any other kind? Shit. I ain't even worried about it. We gonna figure it out like we do everything else. But what I do know is them bitches and their family, they gon' feel it. And that's on God. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That's her right there. You sure? Positive, my G. But now I, I see. Who hired Faith Evans? Didn't you hire her? No. And I didn't authorize that song. Well, you don't get to authorize it. You just get to enjoy it. Sure come in? Nah. She say why? She just laying low for a minute. And she said this is a ploy for Carter's mother to get some attention. Carter mm. is gone. We just need to keep him in our hearts. I know that's right. Hey, everyone. <laughs> I'm so glad that all of you could make it to celebrate my son's life. He was a good boy, a good man. I've been going back and forth the last few days trying to figure out the right things to say. And now I don't know what to say, except I'm glad Gina sent Faith Evans to sing because she expressed my sentiment. I miss him. Every day I wake up, high off life. 
Gucci brown, Fendi yellow, and the both all white. Let's start glorifying that ain't got no price. I got issues, I drink deep sake to hide all mine. I see my best friend that just won't make me cry. Cause I don't get how we ended up on two different sides. Same voice, same size, thought we had the same mind. You was more into them, they took you off your grind. I gotta keep it moving, God said he's sending me signs. I ain't gonna lie, I'm too slight to work any nine to five. Oh, no, no, no. Being calm. Biggest in my city, right next to Sean Don. Be crazy how they take more than the females. From the east, but on the west, but on the west. Yeah. Think I'ma win a Grammy, but I can't give it details. Don't doubt me, cause you don't believe in yourself. I need to rock, send me beats, I tell them flood the email. No gas, I ain't stopping till all my B12. So beyond the 20 acres of land that we are developing for harvest, we're also creating designer strains like the one you saw over there. Okay, that's nice. So will I be meeting Mr. Sanchez after the tour? Mr. Sanchez doesn't run the day-to-day -day operations of the farm, but he did want to make sure that you got a thorough tour. I understand, but when will I actually be meeting Mr. Sanchez? Uh, we would have to get back to you on that, but it'll be soon. Soon? Very soon. Now, let me show you our brand and packing facility.
Hey, girl. Hey. So me and my friend made a bet. It's just range as yours or your boyfriend's. Does that bet mean you hitting on me? You don't want to know what I guessed? No, I just want to pump my gas. Yo, all we were trying to do is talk. Yo, you're drawing right now. I'm just trying to pump my gas. Thank you. Fuck her, bro. Gentlemen, gentlemen. I have a strange feeling the lady is not interested. So we're going to keep things respectful and just keep it moving, right? Thank you. <sighs> Sorry about that. And a lady should not be pumping her own gas. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. You sure? I'm sure. All right. Well, at least let me give you a business card. Thank you, David. Take a couple in case you need it. <laughs> I don't need five. I got, I got one. Well, I'll give you six. <laughs> OK. What's your name? Gina. Gina? Nice to meet you, David. Pleasure's mine. You're definitely not from here. No, Where are you I'm from? Not. From Philly. Philly? OK. Well, welcome to LA. Maybe I'll see you around, Gina. All right. Catch you at a bad time? Just doing my morning Tai Chi. You want me to let you get back to that? No, 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 it's fine. What's going on? A group of friends and I are gearing up to Cold Wave Volleyball. Want to know if you wanted to join us. Hello? Gina? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. OK. Sure, shoot me the address. Yeah, I'll send it to you now. Uh, we're five minutes down the PCH. OK, I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, sounds good. played before I haven't well I have it's just it's been a while playing hard out there yeah I mean you I got try. sand all Do over I? you yeah Jesus thank you oh, Christ you got a little sand there too that comes with the territory right yeah thanks partner and partner yeah me too throw me the ball let's go all right to the serving three there you go Gina serve it up here we go Do it. <laughs> that was that was not that. What do you mean? Just, I, I saw you out there. You killed it. Whatever. Hey, I'm sorry about the guys that get overly competitive. They they're just dicks. No, it was fine. No, really, I had a really good time. Yeah. Yeah. So did I. 
But just so we're clear, just no, I'm not a dick like those guys. No, you're not a dick. In fact, you were a perfect gentleman. Good. Thank you. Had a great time, boy. Me too. Same. Thank you. So, do this again soon? Sure. Yeah? But I picked the sport this time. Perfect. Bowling. I love it. Bowling? <laughs> no. I, I'm good at bowling. No. Thank you. See you soon. See ya. So you sure? The same chick from the picture is the same girl that robbed us? 100%. They was all at the memorial together. You saw them at church together? Yeah, it was a nice memorial, too. There was a couple celebrities in there. Faith, Stevie J. All right, all right, nigga, I got the point. But we still don't know who the third chick is, right? Nah. The old chick was like, old, old. And Gina used to live with them. It's her cousin and her grandmother. I think Gina set the whole thing up. So you was right to follow her out to LA? Well, find out who the third chick is before you make any moves. We don't want to scare them away. All right, bet. Hi. I hit you back. You don't know Gina Rollins. Excuse me, who are you? It's not important. What is important is that you do exactly what I'm asking. You don't contact her, you don't text her, you don't know her, understand? Look, I don't know you. Last time I checked, it's America. I'm only gonna ask you this one more time. Stay the fuck away from Gina. I'll do whatever I want. Stay the fuck away from Gina. Listen! Huh? You wanna talk? Shit? Tell me what the fuck you gonna, fuck you gonna do, huh? The fuck away from her. You in the trunk. You pretty much dead already. What you punishing me for? Punishing? I could get medieval. But I can't... Look, check this out. You got two options. Life. Uh, okay, okay. Look, Bria wasn't even really checking for me. Mm -hmm. She was using me for sex and food and whatever. And for the right price, I'll push that skinny bitch off the bridge. Not you. Who's got eyes on the girl? Yeah, I got Titus and Big Man watching Bree and Aaliyah 24 7. They gonna hit me if they make a move. Bree lead you to the other chick yet? Nah, she just be kicking it with the young bull Dalvin. He just be playing ball and selling weed. Anything heavy? <sighs> nah, he trying to move up in the game, but the boy ain't got no heart. We could snatch her ass up and make her tell us who the other chick is. Or. You can end up scaring her away. Listen to me, Celine. When we hit them, we're gonna hit them all at once. So chill the fuck out, nigga. No loose hands. Right. How's it looking on your end? Shit. It's looking all right. I talked to her today. Sounds like you're feeling her. Nigga, ain't nobody feeling nobody. I'm just trying to get in good with it till I get the money. Once I get my eyes on it, it's lights out for her. So I'm trying to fucking play me. I was just saying. Don't just say shit. Matter of fact, nigga, how about less fucking and more work? Get your ass in them streets. Find that shit out. Yeah, all right. Fuck out of here. Yes, we do, to goes. Sure. Two Cokes. Hi. Two Vodka Cheese. Hey, how you doing? Can you give me one second, please? Sure. Two Cokes. Okay, he'll be ready in 10 minutes. What name should I put the order under? 
Okay, thank you. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Good day, how you doing? How may I help you? Yeah, I had called in the order for Gina. One second. Gina Rollins? Yes. Yep, right here. Is that, that would be 1433. Oh, I paid for it by credit card over the now, phone. If I ain't know any better, you did. I think that you were following me. Gina, right? Yeah. David? Yep. You got any bad guys you need me to run away? <laughs> no, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. But I will tell you, you guys in LA, you're a little different. No. Not all guys in L.A. are the same. And I would love to show you that if you just use the number on that card I gave you. Offer still stands. You know, I just might hold you up on that offer. All right. I just might like that. OK. OK. Well, you have a nice day. You do the same, Gina. David. <laughs> Mr. Sanchez? Gina Rollins. So nice to finally meet you. I admire all of your accomplishments. Such a pleasure. Did you get everything you needed? Yes, I did. Daniel emailed me everything. Then I guess we're good. Would you care to join me? Sure. Okay, recording. So, what prompts you to become so heavily involved in the cannabis business? I think I answered that question in the press package Daniela sent you. Yes, but it was because of your support that the law was passed, right? I'm sure I answered that as well. Okay, so you were born poor in Mexico. What was... Let's not talk about these nonsense issues, huh? Ask me what you want to ask me. I'm sorry? You're a nonsense issue? Everyone knows. I'm rich. I'm powerful. Ask me what you want to ask me. I knew Quadir. You knew Quadir? My Quadir? I've always wanted to meet the captivating young lady that won the heart of my dear friend. God rest his soul. But how? Why? I don't, I don't understand. Quadir was a very good friend of mine. The last time I saw him was the last time you two were in California. Uh, I've never yeah. seen him so happy. <laughs> he was a good man. So that's why I'm here? Yes. To ask questions that I might have answers to. Help you fill in the blanks. To ease your mind with any information that I might have about him. Have you been sending me packages? And I'm not talking about the press packages. Why am I here? What do you mean, why are you here? Because you are the man of the hour! <laughs> it's a big day for you, man. It's a big day for you. You're doing big things in the street, huh? Yeah. But you know what I can't seem to understand for the life of me is how you fuck up a drug deal like you did so royally and don't have the good sense to get the fuck out of Philly. Fleeing the scene of a crime. Mm. You, you, you know, you know he, he's, he's really right. He's right, Titus. And you know it's even colder than that. Them niggas you running with don't give a fuck about you. See, right now, you need to look out for yourself. Right now, you need to be worried about you and everybody that you love. Help us help you mm. for them. Fuck it. I'll help y'all, because y'all going to help me. Now, as I told y'all, I didn't shoot nobody. I ain't kill nobody. You got the video. Shit got chaotic. I had to get the fuck out of there. 
But at work, that shit was Jarrell Jackson's work. You, uh, you do this a lot? Take girls out on yachts and treat them to fine dining? Yeah, shit, all the time. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Actually, uh, a buddy of mine lets me use his boat whenever I'm in town. It's pretty soothing, all right? It's all right, but it ain't got nothing on this Italian restaurant, Bistro Romano in Philly, baby. Okay, no argument from me. Thank you. Thank you. You been to Philly? No, never been. So what, what brought you to LA? Um, partly for work. I own a construction company and a buddy of mine from Orange County hired me to help him out with this, this housing development. And the other part? I needed a change of scenery. To be honest with you, um, I lost my wife about a year ago. And everywhere I went in D.C. reminded me of her. So I had to leave the city. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I've completely dampened the mood. No, no, it's okay, really. It's I lost somebody close to me recently, too. You mind if I ask who? My boyfriend. Sorry, my fiance. We had just got engaged when he passed. I'm sorry to hear that. It's OK. Did you have kids? No. You? No. I mean, we, we plan to have kids, but I had just started my company, and my wife decided she wanted to go back to school, so never quite got around to it. Mm-hmm. Life has a way of sometimes getting in the way of your intentions, huh? But I like this. You know, actually, it's... It's kind of a relief. Think about it. We both know each other's circumstances, and that takes away the pressure of us trying to force a relationship too soon. That part. Kelly training you. Shit, better than Philly. I bet. You want me to scoop the young chick up? Nah, let somebody else do that. We don't want it to look like what it is. Just because we're under pressure don't mean we have to get sloppy. Otherwise, we have a whole new set of problems on our hand when we get to the underside. So check this out, look. I got to take care of this shit on this end. You hold it down in Philly. I'll be out of pocket for a minute, but you know what to do. All right, I got you. One. What's that about? You like it? I do. Me too. What do you have planned tomorrow? Nothing in particular. Oh, what's up? I was thinking maybe I could return the favor. I was thinking maybe I'd really like that. Me too. So I know we ain't been out out in a while, and my man's is having a party tonight. I think we should slide through. Is there gonna be any food there? Cause every time we go to one of your homies' house, all they ever have is honey and coke. Yes. 
It's gonna be a DJ, food. It's gonna be like four star or something. Okay, but don't have me out there hungry. I told you, I think it's actually catered. We straight. You think they're gonna have popcorn shrimp? <laughs> Look, tonight, I'm gonna text you when I'm on my way, all right? Ooh, popcorn shrimp is so good. All right, and bring me some Twizzlers too when you leave, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. For real. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna see you tonight. For sure. See, I told you we straight. That bitch would do anything for a free meal. It's all set, it's cracking off tonight. And I'm gonna take care of Lee and Bree. She gonna bark like a dog by the time I get done with him. What's up? What's up? No, I'm just checking on you. What you doing? I'm chilling. What's going on? Not too much. I mean, you just stand there. You ain't gonna let me in? No, I didn't even like that. I just, I wasn't expecting you. Okay. So, is you gonna let me in? Big drip, big drip. I fell in love with a lip, bitch. Hey. Hey, 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 Are you calling me with my tennis matches on? You know I love Venus, Serena, and Coco. Ooh, good serve. I need you to come get me. Why? What's going on? I'm at this party with Dalvin, right? And ever since I got here, he's been acting real strange. Strange how? First of all, they ain't even got no food. Just some dry-ass chicken. Bria. One minute he's acting all nice, right? And trying to get me to do drugs. And when I said no, he got all hostile. He put his hands on you? No. I didn't let him get a chance. He started tripping. I'm upstairs in the storage room. I locked myself in here. Text me the address. I'm gonna be on my way. Okay. Come in, it's open. Hello? Hi, sorry, I'm still getting dressed, but I'll be down in like five minutes. If you want, you can make yourself a drink at the bar in the living room. Now, uh, would you like one as well? Well, I can't have you drink by yourself now, can I? <laughs> You're right. Thank you. You look very handsome. Thank you. Red roses, I believe you said that they were your favorite. Uh, you're so sweet. Thank you. You're very welcome. To new beginnings. New beginnings. Oh, hold on 
one second. Let me just grab my phone, if you don't mind. Of course. Be right back. Nothing much. Had a few clients earlier. That's it. You, uh, you got anyone here with you? Nah. It's just me. You cooking anything? No. But I got something to drink. You thirsty? Yeah. What you doing? You thought I wasn't going to find out? Find out what? You know who hit us the whole time. You ain't saying nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Could have saved yourself. Now you got to check. So what? You gonna kill me? Huh? You couldn't kill this pussy, so you gonna kill me. All right, go ahead, kill me. Can I kill, kill this pussy? Yeah. Can I kill this pussy? Ah. Ah. You know what? You wanna get fucked one last time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mark. What can I do for you? I'm sorry I didn't call sooner, but I was... I would hate myself if something happened to you because of this psycho. Psycho? What are you talking about? Some guy, he ran up on me and beat me because I was seeing you. What? I'm still laid up in bed with three broken ribs on my face. God, my face is shit. Why would somebody do that? He's obsessed with you, Hud? Um, okay, so... What did the guy look like? He was a black guy. Uh, brown skin, six foot, six one, maybe. He had a beard. He's one of those tough guys, but not, not the loud ones, the quite scary kind. Okay, um, did you get his name? No, but he had an East Coast vibe to him. <sighs> okay, Mark, look, I have to go. Text me your address, and I'll come by your house. Okay. We got London on the track. Philly, what the fuck is up right now? Trying to dance? You know Dalvin? Yeah, I know Dalvin. Where you at? He upstairs with his girlfriend right now. But you still trying to dance, mama? Oh, hey. She mean it's in person, she cannot decide. The ladies will say this will go to surprise. Most of the moments, lady, her pussy, her pride. Digging her back while I'm gripping her side. Digging my back, this ain't regular size. You really floppy like Pelican Fly. Bitch, you ain't slick, I can tell her the sky. I'm glad that my wrist put against in the sky. She sing out my sound, I ain't checked my whole life. I told her to go and work on her life. Everything lady, I love when it's hot. What's wrong? I know this is really bad timing, and I'm really sorry. I have an emergency and I have to go right now. Well, I'll go with you. No, I have to go by myself, but lunch tomorrow on me, please. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, it's, you don't have to apologize. I understand things happen. Thank you. It's just really unfortunate that, uh, that our night had to end so abruptly. I know. I'm really sorry. It's all good. At least let me see that dress one more time before I leave. I mean, that's the least you can do, right? Okay. Think I'm fucking stupid? I broke all that night. Got some more minutes, I keep it at night. You made a history, it made me a lot. He tried to diss me and it What's going on in there? Oh, just trying to get my bitch up out of there. Maybe you can help out. Bria in there? Yeah. Wait, how you know an A? That's her. Bria, you shook! You okay? You good? Let's go. Hey. Wake your ass up. Nigga's always sleeping. Hey! Get your ass up.
Get your ass up. Hey. Your little buddy Mark just had to come ruin everything, didn't he? Guess I gotta finish him off later. Uh, you hit me? Mm-hmm. Why? Caught your ass good, huh? Look, Gina, you got Guardia's money. As far as I'm concerned, that's my money. And I need that. And I need to know who the fuck hit my truck with your cousin, Bria. Bria? I ain't no Bria. What are you talking about? Hey, we can play this game all day. I ain't got nothing but time. Matter of fact, I got 20 more ways that I can punch you in your face off rip. Or one or two things can happen. Either one, I can leave this house a little bit richer. Or two, your whole family can die. Fuck you!
You think that's a little bit too easy? Why don't you get your hands dirty? Isn't this poetic? Now I gotta kill you again. Who's famous now? in it for you
Thank you.